Hi everyone, this is Syrian Girl. I'm here to tell you the truth about one of the videos Trump retweeted from Britain First, which was titled, Muslim Destroys a Statue of the Virgin Mary. The retweet caused uproar, with one side accusing Trump of Islamophobia, and the other side saying that the right to oppose Islam is being oppressed. Both sides are ignoring the inconvenient truth. The video is from Syria, 2013, the man is a member of the US-backed and armed FSA rebels, which they told us were moderate freedom fighters. The good news is that two years after this video, the Syrian army, both Christian and Muslim soldiers, along with Lebanese Hezbollah, restored the Virgin Mary statue to its former glory in the Christian town of Malula. In fact, they put in an even bigger one. So while Muslims attacked the statue, it was also Muslims and Christians that restored it. But pointing this out would get in the way of promoting a future war against Iran, perhaps. The fact that the US and UK played a huge role in cultivating Islamic extremism in Iraq and Libya and Syria is far more of the reason that the world is experiencing so much terrorism now than what is written in the books of the old Abrahamic religions. If we deflect away from the real cause of the current terrorism we are facing now, we will never be able to solve the problem. The fact that the truth is being purposely hidden is the reason why no one picked up on the irony that while Trump retweeted a video of the Syrian rebels destroying the statue of the Virgin Mary, he bombed the Syrian army, the people who have been fighting these rebels. He bombed the army that restored the statue of Mary to its former glory. The irony is that Trump retweeted this video exposing the anti-Christian actions of the Syrian rebels and yet he still believes their version of the events on the chemical weapons attacks in Syria. The irony that Trump talks about opposing Islamic extremism, yet he bows down to the source of Islamic extremism, Saudi Arabia, giving them weapons while they continue to fund the very same rebels who destroyed the statue of the Virgin Mary. Trump's administration is also sanctioning Syria, which the patriarch of the Syrian church says is hurting Christians and also hurting the army that protects them. So why feign outrage over a statue? While Trump pretends to care about Christianity, he's supporting communist Kurdish terrorists that are pushing Christians out of their homes in Syria. So the outrage shouldn't be at Trump for retweeting this. It should be at the fact that four years ago when this video came out, there was no outrage. That if Britain first had tweeted this video with the title US-backed FSA rebels destroy statue of the Virgin Mary, rather than Muslim destroy statue of the Virgin Mary, it probably wouldn't have gotten any retweets. The outrage should be at the irony and hypocrisy of the foreign policy of the US and the UK, which, like it or not, still provides tacit and physical support for Islamic and communist Kurdish terrorism. We need to step away from the dialectic of Islamophobe versus apologist and stop being afraid of talking about what really matters, the neocons and the warmongers who are manipulating the situation and creating this crisis for their own gains. As you may have noticed, all of my videos on YouTube have been taken down. I've had to do this because my channel is under attack by censors. I've also had to delete all my previous tweets as Twitter has been targeting me as well with people attacking tweets I've made since 2016. My Facebook has already been deleted. So it seems that whatever I'm saying isn't contributing to the dialectic and isn't contributing to the potential clash of civilizations that we are being pushed towards. So if you want to hear more of what I'm saying, and to combat this censorship in the meantime, you can join me on Patreon, Syrian Girl, my Minds account, Syrian Girl, or subscribe to my second YouTube channel, Syrian Girl News for more information. I'm working on creating a website, and I aim to fight the censors. Thank you. In the United States, copyright law allows for the fair use of copyrighted material under certain limited circumstances without the prior permission from the owner. Under the law, determinations of fair use take into account the purposes of the use, the nature of the copyrighted work, the amount and substantiality of the work used in relation to the work as a whole, and the effect of the use upon the potential market for the copyrighted work. Other jurisdictions may have similar copyright provisions protecting fair use or fair dealing. If you are uncertain as to whether a specific use qualifies as a fair use, you should consult a qualified copyright attorney. You have the right to take it down.